Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to the Tower of Fantasy video. Saki Fuwa, we got her yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys my post. But first, let's talk about the main burning question. Is Saki Fuwa a main DPS? Now that's something that a lot of people want to know. And hopefully I get this video out as soon as I can so you guys can decide if you want to pull for her. Now, let's do our favorite testing right here at our favorite cactus friend in the Hota Studios. So let's jump into it. Uh, we're gonna do all the testing necessary to show you guys. We're gonna compare Saki and Freak first, give you guys a better idea. To make this as fair as possible, obviously the best way is to remove every single matrices. So no matrices, we're just gonna have raw stats going in. All right, this is what I have on Freak, remove all of it. What I have on Saki, remove all of it. And then level the same. So probably you're not going to be able to complain and say this is not fair. 140, 140, equal. All right, so one thing also, we're going to jump into the backpack. I'm not going to use any equipment. Taking it all out, completely empty, bam. Let's look at how much damage Saki can do versus Freak. So notice right now I'm not running Fortitude Resonance. I'm running Attack Resonance. So this is going to give you more damage. If you guys are not aware, I'm, I'll do a comparison after this. But look at how much skill she does in this Resonance. Alright, straight up 29.4k. Alright, so that's how much she was able to do in this particular one based upon the skill. Now as for Freak, she is going to do 19.4k. Alright, so keep in mind Sakifuwa does have more damage on the skill. However, Freak does have bigger AoE. So if you are comparing in a real world scenario where there's more enemies on the map, Freak is going to outperform uh, if she can hit more enemy because she does have a way bigger AoE on her skill compared to Saki. Now let's compare Saki tank stance. We're gonna swap, easily swap this to a uh, Meryl right here. And this is going to be the Fortitude Resonance uh, skill. All right, so tank stance, uh, Fortitude Resonance. Let's see. So this is how much damage we got. About 9.9k depending on whether I hold or not. So obviously, Fortitude Resonance, if you're using the tank stance, you're not using her for damage. She lacks the damage there. So ideally, you want to go for Saki, uh, not in the Fortitude, but in the DPS, if you're trying to get as much damage as you can, right? Now let's compare Discharge. All right, Discharge is also going to be something that's very important when you're rotating around your team. Uh, this is how much Freak can do on her Discharge straight up, 20.6k. And this is how much Saki is going to be able to do. Alright, and that's going to give us 17.7k. Now, Freak has a better Discharge as you guys can see. Now, comparing Skill and Discharge is going to be way more straightforward. But now, let's compare Rotation for the full damage. Now, Saki Fuwa, uh, probably her best damage is going to come from her Jetpack Dive. So, you can do this. Right, it's going to do a lot. And this is probably going to give her the most damage first, uh, in terms of damage output per second. Uh, her dash skill, her regular rotation doesn't do that much. For example, if you notice right here, this is the 5 chain combo of her normal attack, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see she does about 9.8k. So you ideally, if you are doing the chain, you want to either go for the dive or you want to go for 4 and hold instead. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and hold instead at the end. So this is going to give you 10.2k and the jetpack is going to give you 7.6k at the cost of like one second, which is like way more. But this is going to consume endurance. So keep that in mind. All right. So similar to like certain characters like Ruby, etc. Now, however, uh, when compared to Freak, Freak just does way more damage. So I can show you guys if we were to do three dashes equals to how much Sakifuwa can do. So for example, this is Freak weapon. One, two, three. So over the course of two seconds, you know, I was able to do about 14.2k. Now Saki Fuwa, surprisingly, if you use the jetpack dive, she's going to have pretty similar damage. But keep in mind, this is going to consume endurance. So in terms of the same damage per second, about 2 seconds, that's going to do about 14.1k. But if you're using anything else, any other combo, she's just going to do way less damage than Freak. So yeah, overall, when compared to Freak, uh, Saki Fuwa actually does slightly less damage. Freak is still 
going to be able to output more damage consistently overall throughout the board. Alright, so in terms of the AoE that Freak can provide, it's just way more insane if you're looking to fight multiple enemies. Uh, that's something that Saki Fuwa is going to be really really lacking when it comes to multiple enemies. Because uh, when you use the Jetpack Dive combo, which is Saki's strongest chain of combo, you can only hit a single target, whereas Freak can basically like group up enemies together and just dash. The dash attack output from her is going to overall give more damage. Now, if you are pulling for Saki to replace Freak, don't do it. Uh, you are doing it wrong. So, you are supposed to use Saki in complement with Freak, obviously, if you are building a Frost team. So, Freak is still going to be the core if you are looking for damage. I know it's a bit of a bummer if you are coming from the CN side of things because I know in CN, Freak sort of has fallen off. But I think in global, they're trying to make it much more balanced uh, to have each of these characters with their much more distinct roles. Where Saki probably is going to be really really useful for the one star all right if you get her for a1 this is ideally where you want to be like i would say the perfect stopping point i personally want to get this myself when frost resonance is activated all weapon skill cooldowns are cleared every five times weapon skills are used and of course it's also going to boost your counter attack and flow damage now you can see uh, what she's providing is much more utility to the entire team rather than overall damage so yeah keep that in mind if you're pulling for saki don't expect her to do way more damage than Freak, especially if you already have Freak at A1. Freak is still going to be the main uptime if you're trying to output as much damage as you can. You always want to keep Freak in the rotation as much as possible. Okay, first 10 got nothing except for a buy link. Let's go for the next one. Saki everywhere, Saki TOF, Saki BA Lamau. Saki BA hype, man. Red, come on, turn red. Ah, oh, come on, that's not red. So we got uh, who is this again? Hilda, Pepper. I've never used Hilda a single single time in my life. So twenty pulls in. Twenty pulls in so far. Thirty pulls in. I need to get lucky for once. Uh, purple, okay. It's a regular purple. Again, it's just a regular purple with nothingness. Okay. Wait, what happens if I... Oh, I'll just buy one A1, I guess. I will just buy one A1. Okay, this one will be... No, it's just purple. Ah, oh, man. I need to get luckier with the pulls, man. 40 pulls in. Nothing. Do I spend to buy? Yes, of course. Spend to buy. Why is Nightbot still up? Nightbot is always up, man. Always. Red up who? Okay, not... Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not turning, it's not turning. It's not turning. It is not turning, okay. Let's go for... How much is 1 again? 1,005. Okay, I have quite a lot. I have 20,000, so I think I should be safe for Lin. I hope. Once uh, Lin comes... We're gonna be able to save a little bit more. What up, bare bones life? What up? Come on! Why is my luck so bad, man? Why is my luck so bad? I can't get anything off banner ever! Yo, guys, why can't I get anything off banner ever? Yo, what is this? Not a single SSR off banner. Is it rigged, guys? Am I the only one that's this unlucky? Pulling on the going down game. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Come on. No, it's just a purple. All right, we'll have to pity then. We'll have to pity. Give me Saki now. Hopefully this is it. This is the 80th pull. 80th pull. 80th. 50-50. 80th, 50-50. I can't believe it took me exactly 80 pulls to get one SSR. My god, that's so bad! How did I go not get anything in between? Can I get lucky before PT though? Can I get lucky before PT? Oh! Pepper! Okay. Okay, I think it's PT. I think it's PT. And will it be Saki though? No! No way! Oh my god! That is bad, man. That is really bad. Okay, we might have to get her from PT, man. Yeah, yeah, she's like... Kokorita is like Chi Chi almost. 
Cocorator is pretty much a GG. Come on, can I get something off banner, man? Why does it... Why is the rate so low? I never got anything. I have to get everything at 80. I never get anything in 70, anything in 40. It has to be 80 every time. It's so bad. It's so bad. Low rate gacha drop. 80 again. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, this is nothing, man. Oh my god. This is just a purple. Set. Give me three purple. Okay, I gotta go one more and then we can buy uh, Sakifu. Uh? I'm not sure if that will ever happen. Turn red! Aw, oh, man. Alright, we gotta buy her, I guess. It is what it is. Set life. We'll buy the heart stream. Alright, let's buy heart stream for now. I just got C1 for 120 pull. Damn. You are so lucky. I wish I was as lucky as you. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this video. So basically, since Saki is more like a support-ish character, a tank-ish character, uh, the best metrics for her, I don't think you want to give her your best DPS metrics. Like, I'm running Shiro for now. Uh, maybe I'll swap Subasa with something else. Probably I'm gonna give like Shiro King. That's something that I might consider, but I don't really have King metrics. And I'll have my stronger matrices like, uh, in most cases, uh, Samir, Huma, I'll have that on Freak. Maybe I can also consider doing Shiro and Crow. Like if I have like Spare, Crow in those two slots as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, let me know what you guys think of Saki. Overall, if you guys put for her uh, in the comment section below. Subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.